They're taking over more and more jobs, right? But this chore is one you probably wouldn't mind giving up, mowing the lawn. Gilma Avalos shows you the Dallas startup that's putting robots to work for you in a way you might love. In Richardson, a robot is reporting for its first day on the job. Even as a loud lawnmower hums in the background, this baby is looking to quietly take over a lawn near you. Robots are cool. People love them. Dallas lawn care startup Robin has installed 50 of these in the DFW area and plans to roll out 50 to 100 more every month. You're paying us just like you would pay any other landscaper and we're fulfilling a service. It just happens to be delivered by these robots. The machines work like a Roomba, minding this wire fence. When the robot's approaching your flower beds or the street, it knows that it's coming close to its wire, so it's not actually going to run into the street. It means you can kick back and let a robot do the work for you. The technology is huge in Europe, but slow to catch on in America. Robin co-founder Justin Crandall says more fenced-in backyards are one barrier. So we invented and patented a door that allows the mower to go between the yards, but also locks to keep your pets inside. You're going to press the start button. Homeowner Patrick McGregor is embracing the Jetsons S technology because of convenience. You know, I'm not quite getting in the in the shower and having my teeth brushed for me robotically and coming out a tube. You know, I don't have to think about it, don't have to worry about it. it it's going to do its job on its own, and uh, that's huge. With a toddler at home, he won't be missing the noise and says he likes the price. Price point came out to be about the same. Plans start at 99 bucks a month for the mower only. Packages that include human work like edging and weeding go up from there. Cutting edge technology for that freshly cut look. Don't let that thing get a hold of the Roomba, though, because then you got a fight going on. <laughs> uh, during the pilot phase, by the way, these robots attracted so much attention, a couple of them were stolen, we're told. GPS technology and stickers warning thieves they will be prosecuted have apparently curbed that problem. The machines are pin protected, and they're useless, actually, if somebody steals it, takes it away from the yard where they're installed, so they've kind of protected that end yeah, of it. Yeah, sort of like the Find My iPhone thing. Yeah.